Hey guys, welcome back to the series about making silver while wasting energy. For those of you coming back may remember I've been out gathering materials to make those spirit perfume elixirs. Today, I'll be finally making them and seeing just how much I can make. So throw on those alchemy clothes and let's get started making these spirit perfume elixirs. I'm out here in Olivia today to start making these elixirs, but what's needed for these and why am I making these? The spirit perfume elixirs are best used for hunting with that plus 300 max HP and plus 5 crit rate. To make them, the recipe does require 10 movie tree sap, 1 fruit of nature, 2 violet, blue, sky blue, or yellow flower, 10 powders of darkness, and 1 dead tree essence. I'm going to be making at least 300 of these to sell on the market for a lot of silver and because they're always in demand, selling them will be easy and I'll be able to sell them for max price. I have all the required ingredients already, but just in case you need a recap, the loopy tree sap and dead tree essence are gathered from the loopy tree forest. The flowers and fruits of nature can be gathered from the Navarne steppes and finally the powder of darkness is gathered using workers on iron nodes. Now, it's time to get geared up and start making those elixirs. For my gear, I'll be wearing the plus 3 silver embroidered alchemist clothes to help getting my alchemy to guru. I finally got the fragment of a star, a spoonful of a moon lightstone combination which will decrease the speed and get me more experience. I don't have the alchemy artifacts yet, but I'll keep trying to get them to get that combination just the way I want it. I'll be using my pavilion set to decrease the crafting time and give me more experience. And lastly, I have a pet with plus 5 alchemy experience and with my plus 21% from my tier 5 hedgehog, this helps me get to Guru a lot sooner. We all know how annoying alchemy can be, but with my supreme repair tools on hand, let's start throwing these ingredients in the cauldron and speed up all this to get past the boring parts, shall we? So, the fruits here are the worst time gated ingredient needed in my opinion. Sometimes you can get lucky buying these off the central market, but most times you'll be forced to gather these out and bare. If you're able to get the fruits however, these can be a nice way to make some money while leveling alchemy. Comment down below and let me know how many times you guys do this or if you guys haven't yet. I've been making these and I've made a nice amount of silver back in the process. And while you're down there, be sure to go ahead and leave a like if you're enjoying the series. All the support is greatly appreciated and it does help grow the channel. Back to watching these elixirs get made, having the 2 second alchemy was fast, but paired with the lightstone combo speeds it up even more to 1.5 seconds just to make one. Luckily, I'm not going to have to spend the extra time making the imperial crates, I can just list them on the market and continue with my day, making this a great way to make a couple hundred million for just doing alchemy. If you're doing hunting, this can be a nice way to go ahead and get the elixirs you need without having to spend a lot of money. With about 300 elixirs ready to be sold, I was able to only get 6 mysterious catalysts and not that much shining powder to make those alchemy stones. But let's start listing these and see how much I can make. I won't need to head to Velia to start listing everything having my maids ready. Sending the spirit perfumes has to be done in batches of 100, so this has to be done a couple times. But after doing all that and listing them on the central market, I was able to make a grand total of 500. 125 mil. As you can see, with alchemy taking longer to level with the ingredients needing a lot to make a dent, crafting spirit perfume elixirs is a great way to make money while chipping away at those alchemy levels. I don't suggest making this your only form of money making since this is heavily reliant on those fruits of nature, but you can get a lot of silver if you have a good supply ready. If you want to see how to speed up alchemy, or if you just want to see another way to make money in Black Desert Online, be sure to click this video here. I will see you in the next episode of Life of a Shy where I'm killing some scorpions for their meat.